Hi, everyone. Let's provide the solution to this. x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 equals 36. Okay, so what do we do? How do we deal with this? If you look at the right hand side, we can break that 36 to be in this form x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2. So if you are the one solving this, how would you break your 36? Would it be 30 plus 6? Would it be 18 plus 18? How do you break this 36? The 36 here should be 27 plus 9. Okay, this is because 27 is 3 to the power of 3, which will stand for this. And 9 is um, 3 squared, which will be for this. So let's break it on. Let's break it down. x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 is equal to 3 to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 2. From here, we can just conclude that x is 3, right? But we need more solutions, so we have to continue. We are supposed to have three solutions because of this highest power of 3. So x to the power of 3, bring this one, we have minus 3 to the power of 3. Then I have plus x squared. Then this is minus 3. Everything, oh, this is 3 squared, and everything is equal to 0. Because these two terms on the right hand side, have been shifted to the left hand side x to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 will be dealt with separately and then x squared minus 3 squared will be dealt with separately here we have difference of two cubes and here difference of two squares and if we have a cube minus b cube this will give us a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared so this is the most difficult thing to do when it comes to solving a problem like this remembering this difference of two square um, two cubes is the most difficult thing to do here now, our a is x and our b is 3. So, a minus b becomes x minus 3, right? Into a squared, that will be x squared. a, b, that will be x times 3 and it's 3x. Plus, b squared is 3 squared and that is 9. So, we close that. Then, we have difference of two squares here, which will be x minus 3 into x plus 3 and everything equals 0 now x minus 3 is a common factor here and then in here I have x squared plus 3x plus 9 then plus this is already here so we have x plus 3 left when you equate it um, when you close the bracket you equate to 0 now x minus 3 here is still the common factor then i add what i have which is x squared plus 3x plus x okay this and this will be added then we have 9 plus 9 um, plus 3 so we equate this to 0 now x minus 3 the common factor comes out then we simplify this further to get x squared plus 4x plus 12. Lock this and equate to 0. Now, we are multiplying two terms to get 0, so we apply 0 product rule. x minus 3 is 0 and x is equal to 0 plus 3. Now, our x is equal to 3. Okay, very well. Now, the next point is to get the value, you know, of x from here. And then uh, we have x squared 
plus 4x plus 12 equals 0. I'm going to use quadratic formula to solve this. So my a is 1, my b is 4, and c is 12. So what then is the formula? The formula is x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now you may be asking how did I get the a, b, c? a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x, and c is the constant, which is 12. Now let's put this into the formula now. Our x will be minus 4 because b is 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared which is 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 12 a is 1 c is 12 then we divide this by 2 times 1 if we proceed we have x to be minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus um, 4 times 24 is 48 then this is divided by 2 times 1, which is 2. And then if you simplify this, you're going to have 16 minus 48, and that is minus 32, right? We have minus 32, and then we divide everything by 2. So let me write that over here. So our x will now be minus 4, plus or minus, we had them um, 16 minus 48 and that is minus 32 all of this is divided by 2 so our x will now be minus 4 plus or minus we have square root of 32 times square root of negative 1 just to pick out this negative everything divided by 2 by the way if you are still following and you have not subscribed to my channel then something is wrong please subscribe so you can always have access to my videos. X from here is minus 4 plus or minus square root of 32 here can be 16 times 2. This is over 2. Then multiply by i because square root of negative 1 is i. Right? If we proceed now, we have our x to be minus 4 plus or minus we have square root of 4, means square root of 16, that is 4, multiply by this, we have i, then we have root 2, as we divide this by 2. Now, if you continue, you're going to have x to be minus 4, right, over 2, plus or minus, we have 4i, root 2, over 2, so that x will now be minus 2 that is this into this is minus 2 we now have plus or minus oh we have this into this is 2 so let me write 2 here first this is 2 then we have um, i root 2 so this is the solution from the quadratic equation and this is also a 2 in 1 solution Let's bring the three solutions together very quickly. Please permit me to write this by the side here. Okay. So the first value, we got our x1 to be equal to 3, if you can recall. Then the second value is x2. The last part, where we had minus 2 plus 2i root 2. Then the third solution is x3, which is minus 2, minus 2, i, root 2. So these are the three solutions to the equation, which is x to the power of 3 plus x squared equals 36. And if you're still here and you have not subscribed to my channel, please, you can do that and support me.